welcome to Bear Beer Reviews, this time from a new location, this is Casa del Carro Walker, this is our new flat that we've just moved into, and we're very excited about it. Um, so I thought I'd better start off our moving into a new flat with a brand new beer from some rather good brewers, this is Brewdogs Born to Die. From the first batch of theirs, this is Born to Die for the 4th of July 2015. Um, if any of you have not heard of this yet, not seen it on the Brewdog website, this is their version of kind of Enjoy By, uh, Stones Enjoy By, that kind of... Massively hot type here that needs to be drunk by a certain date, otherwise you shouldn't drink it. So I'm guessing somehow they kind of scientifically try these bottles out and worked out the optimal date before there's like a drop off in terms of flavour. So this is a super fresh IPA with loads and tons of hops in it. On the side of it, it says, imagine knowing how long you have left to live. What would you do? Spend some time alone gathering your thoughts before bowing out quietly into the night, or would you spend every last every last minute rocking out, burning your way through the last days on earth, think out with a bang. This savage IPA was born to die. It's made for existence as a solitary purpose to be a kick-ass celebration of the power of hops. Born to die is bitter as hell, super dry, and it's best drunk as soon as you pick it up. If our existence truly is but a brief crack in light between two immense seas of darkness, you should spend it drinking this beer as awesome as this. Um, and I believe it's brewed with... Uh, oh, 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 I thought I'd seen it earlier. Maybe not. It doesn't sound sad. But let's crack it open and see what we have. And what is more apt to be drinking an IPA, brew, um, IPA by Brewdog in but their IPA glass. So pull this one out and see what we have. So what we have inside this little glass is actually a really, really pale beer. It's just that kind of strawy yellow sort of colour. Nice and luminescent in as well, actually, I might add. Um, it probably looks like it's coming out a bit more copper than it actually is on the camera, but this is really, really pale straw colour. This with a nice, tight little white head on the top of it as well. It looks like it's going to be lacing like a beauty, can you see? looks great. You can already smell it, even though I cracked the bottle open, so let's get a good on nose and then give it a smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is like, yeah, they're not lying, this is dank as hell. It's the most resinous, weedy, marijuana -y smell on an IPA that you could get. To coin a phrase that still you, it's devastatingly dank. There's, there's just an ultimate freshness about it. I would, I would, I would say there's a lot of citra in it, because of that kind of butyric citra note. Which is certainly good by me, but my god, it's just the overall dominating aroma on this is just marijuana and dankness. So, cheers everyone, let's get in and give it a good old try. Yeah. Alright then. Um, I haven't actually checked what ABV this is. Really bad of me, because I know we're supposed to do that. Um, but I'm assuming it's quite a big punchy one. Yeah, eight and a half, just a slightly bit punchy one then, Jack. Um, and it definitely has the flavour of like a double IPA. Um, it is, yes, it's very dry. I would have to say there is barely a tinge of malt character in there. It's a titchy little bit of slightly caramel sweetness just runs through the back of it, but only such a small amount. And just over the top, you just get cascading, crashing dankness and pininess and resinous notes. There's perhaps a little bit of grapefruit in there, a little bit of citrus too. You just get that touch of mangoey, lychee like citra in there too. I think it's probably quite citra dominant this. Um, but this is massive, massive, devastatingly dank. I'm going to keep using that stone phrase. Because um, it just is. Yeah, super fresh, super pungent. Um, everything I kind of like about an IPA, but it, it's more on the dank side than I kind of like. I like mine a little bit more juice bomby, but that's a personal preference. It's a very good exercise in doing an IPA, doing it how hard they should be fresh. And full of hop flavours and, and dry, real dry and bitter finish. Not overtly bitter though, don't be put off by it saying it's bitter, it's not crazy bitter. Um, it, it's all balanced really. <sighs> yeah, it, you, you do, you just go out and try and get one of these if you can do. And drink it as fresh as possible to see what you get when you get a proper fresh IPA and the flavours in it. I'm probably going to give this a nice 9 out of 10. It's really cracking, it's a really good experiment in it. I, I like Brewdog for doing it, um, following the, the, their friend Stone in, in doing a similar thing. And this is how we're going to start educating people about drinking IPAs fresh. I had a disappointing bottle this year in Nevada Torpedo yesterday, it was all malt, because it's probably been on the shelf for six months. This is the opposite, drink it fresh, go and enjoy it. So please like, favorite, comment and subscribe, and until the next baby review, cheers everyone.